I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Unjust Steward, Part 2. What's it really mean? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's got all our content and it's available in every platform, even Roku and Apple TV. And donate. Your tax deductible gift, link in the description, keeps Higher Things, an organization which is all about putting the gospel into the church's youth's ears, keeps us going. And our kids need this gospel in these dark times. Yesterday, we had the parable of the unjust steward, link in the, descri the description. Today, I want to talk about what it truly means. So now that we have the outward meaning of the parable, which is about money and its use, we can get to the true meaning of the text. First, you'll notice that the unjust steward is accused of being unjust. There's no actual evidence that he has been unjust. Um, dishonest is a bad translation. It's adikaios, which means unjust. Or, um, ooh, I missed it. So, first and foremost, it's an accusation. Second, this steward, when accused, starts giving stuff away that's not his. Um, on pennies of the dollar. And you can imagine that he would have given stuff away for free if he could have. But then that would have made sense in the parable. Third, the Pharisees mock Jesus for it, which means they're part of the parable too. They're the ones that love the money. But this isn't really about money. This is about what the true riches are and how, how if you're faithful with money, then you can be faithful with the true riches. And the true riches are the forgiveness of sins the mercy and grace of God. You see, there is someone that we know that is unjustly accused of evil. There is someone that we know whose main problem is that he gives his father stuff away for free. There is someone that we know that is faithful even unto death, death on a cross. I think you should read this parable as if Jesus is the unjust steward who is accused of unjustness to save us, because he gives his father's kingdom away. He gives righteousness away, he gives mercy away, he gives God's love away, all freely given and, 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 and received by faith alone. I think that, that the true riches, the true riches is the mercy and grace of God. One who, um, Let's look at the text again. Make friends by means of unrighteous wealth so when it fails you, they will receive you into eternal dwellings. One who is faithful in very little is also faithful with much. And one who is dishonest in very little is dishonest in much. Or adikaios, which is unjust in much. If then you are not faithful with unrighteous wealth, who will entrust you with the true witness? Which is, and if you have not been faithful with that which is another, who will give you that which is not your own? there is under this parable a different kind of wealth. There is the wealth that is misused, and then there's the true wealth, the mercy and grace of God, which unjust steward Jesus gives away for free to people who don't deserve it. Take your bill, write 80. Take your bill, write 50. Take your bill and write forgiven. Now, I'm okay with you not agreeing with me on this because there was a whole parable yesterday in which I described for you the base meaning of the parable. But if you let this be about Jesus, this, there'll be unending comfort. The unjust steward Jesus gives you his father's kingdom, the forgiveness of sins. He also gives you money in order to show you how to be faithful with the true stuff, the mercy and grace of God. It's only money they'll make more. Give it away. The forgiveness of sins, that's the true stuff that God wants you to give away. That goes on forever. I'm Pastor George Borkart. He's under the desk. And this has been another Higher Things video short.